And then when you head over to the backside, Putnam Creek, it's a bit eye-opening. There's a lot of steep black and double black diamond terrain on offer there. The backside of our mountain is absolutely thrilling with the treed runs, very, very steep terrain. Uh, the bumps are always stay nice and soft, so uh, if you're into bump skiing, it is, it's a beautiful place to be because the, the pillows of snow, they just collapse in front of you as you ski down the mountain. So uh, it's absolutely amazing skiing here. It's one of the nicest spots you can ever find here in, uh, in British Columbia. Robin and Norm, thanks so much for the skiing this morning. It was awesome. Hey, and these homes just right on the side of the hill are absolutely beautiful. Yeah, well, Edith, this is the um, this is the residential area called the Knoll. These big vacation homes, they're awesome. You get inside, huge open concept, hot tub on the deck. It's living in luxury, there's no question. No doubt. So what's the deal with all the color? Well, the deal is, is the, uh, the previous owners of the resort put a covenant on the lot, so when you bought it, you had to have a minimum of five colors in your design scheme, put it in front of the panel, get approval, and then you could start to build. So it's, uh, yeah, it was pretty strict. <laughs> Robin, the last time that I was here, I think this place was a bakery, wasn't it? Yeah, it changed hands and they've done a nice little renovation in here. It's, it's nice and busy, uh, great food, so it's, yeah, it's worked out really well. And I think there's uh, about three other new restaurants on the mountain as well this year, Edith, so it's, uh, yeah, it's, it's a really nice change for Silver Star. I agree, absolutely. Now we've already dug in, let's have the rest of our food, yeah. fill up our bellies and head out because I think there's a lot of good skiing out in Silverwoods, isn't that right? That's where we're going this afternoon, down into Silverwoods. Sounds good, let's dig in then. All right. Well, here we are. Wow, <laughs> you're not telling me that they've actually named a run after you, Robin. You bet, we had a contest to name all the runs here in Silverwoods. I guess with my charm and good looks, I came out on top. <laughs> yeah, whatever. I won't let your skiing do the talking. All right, let's go. <laughs> okay. There's lots of exciting terrain in Silverwoods, real big timber. We did a great job thinning that out. There's lots of spaces for people to, to ski through the trees. You'll find lots of, of fresh powder in there and also some, some neat groomed runs as well. So nice long groomed cruisers that the crew gets in there pretty much every night and lays out the what I call the Silver Star carpet, that nice soft groomed snow. But uh, personally, it's, it's the trees that keep it exciting for me. You know, you can be skiing down a groomed run, pop into the trees and, uh, and pop out somewhere else. And, it's, it's just, it's real playful, lots of fun. Kids seem to really love it in Silverwoods as well. <laughs> Racers ready! Three, two, one, go! <laughs> oh, <she's coming. laughs> hey, it's the Interski team. I didn't know you were going to be here. Why don't you show me what you've got? Yeah. Interski happens every four years. It's the Olympics for ski instructors, and the Canadian Ski Instructors Alliance has chosen their interski team. They take 10 of the best ski teachers uh, in the country and they get them together and the, the fellows and gals end up training and they've chosen Silver Star this year to, to come and train here. Interski is not really a competition. It is more of a showcase of your ski technique. It is a huge show. It really is the Olympics for, for the ski instructors. Uh, our team is out here. They're working on their formation skiing and uh, they'll try and ski as tight and close together as possible so that they can showcase their technique uh, to the other, other nations that will be present at Interski. Well, with the formations we've been doing this morning, um, I guess the feeling I have is that it's pretty exciting and it's fun to be close and just the excitement of skiing fast, you know, in a formation and it's, it takes a lot of concentration. You have to be really disciplined and focused and you can't kind of be daydreaming at all, otherwise, you know, you end up running into somebody. <laughs> Wow, well, 
Was that ever exhilarating? It's a lot harder than you might think it is. What a fabulous day, powder skiing and then getting to ski with the inner ski group. I'm pretty tuckered out, so I'm going to head back to the snowbird for a little R&R. Robin, thank you so much for a great day of skiing hey, today. No problem. I'm glad you had a good time. It was a lot of fun. And we managed to make it right back to your condo here, right at Snowbird Lodge. Yeah, it's perfect. And we get to do this all over again tomorrow. It's snowing right now, so we should get some powder skiing. Well, I can't wait. We'll Sounds see you tomorrow. Good. Okay, bye. Honestly, I'm getting quite pampered here at Silver Star by getting to stay at the Snowbird Lodge. And what a perfect way to finish off a day full of activities by hanging out in my very own hot tub. And check this out. It's got its own TV and waterfall. And check this out. Blast off! <laughs> Silver Star is a wonderful resort. It feels comfortable. Now, if you're looking for something over the top, you'll find that here too. One thing that I haven't had a chance to do is Nordic skiing. The US team actually calls it their favorite place to train. I'm gonna head out and check out some of the 105 kilometers of track set and groom trails. That's all the time that we have together this week. I'm Edith Rosa and I'll catch you next time. <laughs>